Hi, my name is Jared, and this is Horror Obsession, and today is October 15th, meaning we have made it halfway through Horror October. There are both good and bad things about growing up, and one of the bad is having to work so you can't sit around and watch horror movies all day long. One of the good things, however, is having an adult level of discretionary income and being able to watch any specific horror movie you may want to see. While I loved going to Hollywood or Blockbuster Video to browse through the horror section, I also had been refused to be allowed to rent rated our movies. My mom supported me enough to actually go down to the video store with a handwritten note and have them add to my account that I have carte blanche to rent any movie I want, which made the whole endeavor much easier but also drew some weird looks from other families while 12 year old me rented Hellraiser without getting even so much as a question from the employees. But I turned out just fine and totally normal and now I do normal people things like watch a horror movie every day for 31 straight days and make an accompanying video for a few hours every day, like a normal person. It's not like it ended up worshipping corn or something. Believe it or not, that whole story was to set up that one horrible segue, and as you could probably guess, today's movie is... Children of the Corn, 1984, based on a Stephen King novel and directed by Fritz Kirsch, and I will be taking no notes on the pronunciation of his name. Children of the Corn is a movie everyone knows about, and a premise which is satirized exceedingly often. We're the only ones with a working phone, and if you had taken our book, then it's one of us who dies tonight at Carousel. How did this all happen? Why do you children live in this town alone? Because we do. It was like this yesterday, and the day before that. But what about before that? You mean in the before time? In the long, long ago? If you're like me, you had a vague memory of this movie from childhood, but may have forgotten how it actually goes. So let's go through the setup. The movie starts off with a voiceover from some kid who went to a diner after church with his dad. At the diner, a bunch of kids who range from little kids to... I don't know, how old is that kid supposed to be? 16? Courtney Gaines was 19 when they filmed this, but I feel like for him to be considered a child, he should be younger. Well, anyway, the kids are all acting creepy. And I mean creepier than usual, because let's face it, Kids are fucking creepy. Apologies to those of you with kids, but they act creepy, they say creepy things, they do creepy things. I mean, they're just creepy, that's just an objective fact. So yeah, the kids kill all the adults in the town. Next, Sarah Connor and her doctor boyfriend, Bert, are driving across country. Sarah's basically telling him if he likes it, he should put a ring on it, but he's like, um, nah, how about I go shower? So they're driving, and a kid wanders in the middle of the road, and Bert promptly plows through him like Leonardo DiCaprio plowing through under 25 blonde girlfriends. They decide to throw the body in the trunk and take it to the nearest town, but unfortunately for them, they are surrounded by nothing but corn country. And that's the setup for Children of the Corn, a movie which, like most children, can be insufferable at times, but overall is entertaining and enjoyable. I wouldn't call this movie a masterpiece by any means, but I like to occasionally watch average to below average horror movies to remind myself why the amazing, genre-defining movies are what they are. Children of the Corn is not terrible, and there are genuinely creepy moments. I mean, after all, it's almost all kids, so enough said. And it's fun seeing a young Linda Hamilton play a different character, even though I can't help but imagine this being a prequel backstory for the events of Terminator 1. Alright, and that wraps up recommendation number 15 for Horror October, and check back in tomorrow for a movie that uses the loss of innocence as a vehicle for providing commentary on final girls in horror movies.